We are tracking Fiona and quite frankly, a lot going on in the tropics. A number of disturbances that we'll be keeping a close eye on here over the next several days. Of course, Fiona is still a major category for hurricane as it moves closer to Bermuda. We have tropical storm at Gaston. Thankfully, no threat to land, but this is what I'm really interested in. This is Invest 98L and this has a 90% chance of development in the next five days. It's going to become her main any day now. We also have two more tropical waves off the coast of Africa that I'm not nearly as concerned with right now. The one farther off to the west has a 30% chance of development in the next five days and then that wave a little bit closer to the coast of Africa has a 60% chance of development in the next five days. But it looks like that one heads uh, off to the north and the one with 30% chance of development still just way too soon to tell whether or not it will strengthen or weaken as we head through the next week. So let's start with Fiona because that is still a major category for hurricane sustained winds of 130 30 miles per hour moving a little bit quicker now a quicker forward motion off to the north and east at 15 miles per hour. You can see sitting right now just to the southwest of Bermuda expected to start to bring impacts to the area today, but really overnight and early Friday morning. There are hurricane warnings in effect for the island right now, but thankfully it does look like they will escape the worst of this storm. The storm is continuing to jog in that westerly direction versus an impact that's more direct to Bermuda. So good news there, but still some heavy rain and wind expected for the island here over the next uh, really 24 hours. So the storm will continue to push off to the north and east passing right by the island might weaken once it gets a little bit of interaction with the island. The outer convective bands might weaken just a little bit, bringing it down to a category three by tomorrow morning. But then it jogs a little bit quicker off to the north and by Friday night and Saturday morning approaching the Canadian Maritimes as potentially a major category three hurricane. I do think it's going to weaken as it moves closer to land, but that is still a lot of storm surge, a lot of wind and a lot of rain for the region. So if you have loved ones in the area or maybe any interest in uh, the Canadian Maritimes, just be sure to check in and see what the storm could mean for the area, because right now again, it doesn't look great in terms of wind, rain and storm surge. Tropical storm Gaston still looking pretty weak. Sustained winds at 65 miles per hour. It's going to move around itself here over the next several days, never strengthening past a tropical storm and then weakening as it pushes off into the west west by early next week uh, could impact the Azores Islands. So again, if you have loved ones in the area, give them a call. Let them know we're watching Gaston. But again, this is what I'm really concerned with over the next several days because a lot of our computer model models bring it farther off to the west as we head through the weekend and early next week. And once it moves into those warm Gulf waters, rapidly intensifying, but it is still far too soon to tell exactly what the storm is going to do. This is a look at our model comparisons, what two of our computer models think the storm could do. So here we are Tuesday by Tuesday. I think there is pretty solid agreement that the storm continues to the south of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands and Cuba still close enough to bring some impact though. But then as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, really warm water, much warmer than the Atlantic. It really rapidly intensifies. This is Wednesday. You can see the storm sitting off to the west of Florida, just to the north and west of the Florida Keys, but still several hundred miles between the center of those two storms and then the European model, which are the lines that you see in Red, bring a Florida landfall by Thursday of next week, while the American model is still strengthening the storm in the Gulf. So not only are the tracks different, the timing is different as well. And again, these are just two potential outcomes. Our spaghetti plots show storms making landfall as far west as Mexico or keeping it out to the east of Florida. But then the uh, American model does bring it onshore into the Florida panhandle, parts of Mississippi and Alabama by the end of next week. So the takeaway there is you just need to keep an eye on the forecast over the next several days. Far too soon to determine where exactly it's going to go and how strong it will get, but we are expecting significant impact somewhere in the United States by this time next week. So again, that storm isn't named yet. It's still Invest 98L. It will become Hermine. We could see Ian and Julia form shortly thereafter. If anything comes of those tropical waves that we talked about just off to the west of Africa. But the takeaway here is that we are starting to see the tropics pick up because it very much is still the peak of hurricane season.